So the Constitution was not written for uh, immoral, unjust people. The Constitution was written for moral, spiritual people who could discern the times and the seasons through the Word of God. MAGA Black, I know the plight that's going on in the inner cities, inside, the behind the scenes as a pastor for 22 years. There is nowhere else to go but to come back home. I'm talking to the black community, back home to the Republican Party because that's what has to happen. That Republican Party, if I can play. Yeah. We need to come on back. We need to come on back. You know, these Democrats have, uh, they've hoodwinked us, tricked us all. And for a lot of folks, including myself at one point in time, had us hating a political party and specifically an individual in a political party. And we don't even know why. I was one of those individuals. I hated Republicans and I didn't like Donald Trump and I couldn't even tell you why. And that bothered me. And that's part of the reason why, you know, I went on this journey of discovering the truth. And obviously here we are now, probably one of the biggest Trump supporters there is. I make no apologies for supporting Trump and I can back it up. Right. Um, now, granted, I'm not the most knowledgeable person in the world. I'm not saying, you know, um, I know everything there is to know. I've only been paying attention to politics for uh really just a couple of years now since this journey began right the the entire process has been documented um through this channel um but i still make zero apologies for supporting donald trump zero and i can always back up my reasoning now on why i believe what i believe back then i couldn't you know the reporter pushing back that republican party is different than the one that they left right yeah. that's why maga black we're talking about the policies that make sense the policies that brought us together uh it just so happened it was under that brash new yorker some guy named trump I, you know heard of him <laughs> but but it was really what worked where's a white shirt and a red tie if i'm not mistaken oh my god but it's what worked uh cutting taxes lowering uh the unemployment raising employment these things actually worked. Peace through strength. Everything that was done in our foreign trade, uh, building up our military, all of those things worked. That's the Republican Party I'm talking about. America first. Facts. That's what has to happen. I'm not talking about this rhino Republican Party. I'm talking about the Republican Party that freed the slaves, the party of Lincoln. Right. We're, we're, we're talking about the party that when, when the slaves got out and they said, where will we go? The first Republican black Congress was yes, initiated. That's the Republican Party I'm talking about, the party of Frederick Douglass. Amen. That's the party. Why then are so many of our modern black leaders, deceased and living, why were they more associated with the Democratic Party? I'm not talking about in the 60s. I'm not talking about in the 70s or the 80s. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about John Lewis. I'm talking about Andrew Young and Julian Bond. I'm talking about Don McEachin, who we just talked about. Maybe Adam Clayton Powell takes us a little farther back, but you look at Benjamin Hooks. You, you know all the people I'm talking about. Why are they so associated with the Democratic Party? Bro, I ain't gonna even lie to you. A lot of them names that he named, I have no clue who they are. Don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he said they support Democrats. So I don't even care to look these these folks up. What, leaders. <laughs> what leaders? <laughs> right? Who they leading? <laughs> the blind? The blind leading the blind? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Why do they not see that that's where the Democratic Party is? Why the Democratic modern Democratic Party gave us first African American president? We have the first African American female vice president. Seems like that would be reason to celebrate. Well, tokens, tokens. See, and that's 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 the thing that the Democrat Party tries to do. Oh, see, look, guys, we we got a black person in here. Look, guys, it's a black person. You see, he looks like you. What does that have to do with anything? How is having a... Okay, so for all the Democrats that like to push that narrative, how is simply having a black person in the White House benefiting my life? Does that put more money in my pockets? No, not at all. Does that change the, 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 the trajectory of my life in any way? No, not at all. But see, the Democrat Party tries to, tries to use these tokens and dangle them in front of our face. Look, guys, we got a white or a, a, a black, right? 
put that in air quotations, a black woman vice president. Look, guys, look. Right. Instead of instead of just picking people that are the most qualified for the specific job, whatever. Right. Oh, no. Look, guys, see, there's a black person in this position. See, look, look, what we did. Why, why, why does that matter? As if the only people that we um, associate with or can associate with are people that have the same skin color as us. Like, like I, I, I can't connect with a white person or an Asian person or a Hispanic person or any other race of individuals. Like, it has to be a black person. Look, guys, a black, black person. See? What does that have to do with anything? It has nothing to do with anything. We should judge we should be judged by the content of our character and not the color of our skin. I'm sure you guys all know who uh said that line, but I guess we just forgot about that one. It goes back to family again. What was the family really all about? The family was about hard work, go to school, pay your bills, stay out of trouble, and the Democrat party, if we really look real close, did the opposite. Massive incarceration, uh, totally indoctrinating our kids through things like CRT. Let's be fair, CRT is the emperor's new clothes, right? It's been taught by a couple of teachers in a couple of schools yeah. in, a, in a country of over 300 million people, right? That's not a, 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 an epidemic. Yeah, well, what happened was when well. it started saying that white men are the problem and black people will always be oppressed, that's an issue in a country called the United States of America. Of course it's an issue, but it's not an issue because it's so isolated in little places where it's yeah. happened. Just like if there's somebody teaching a class that flies in the face of the Constitution, says the Constitution's a fake document. I'm not saying that exists, but if one person's doing it in the middle of Iowa, that's not a problem in America. Well, what happened was... It's happening all over the place. That's why you see it on college campuses. Stop with the nonsense. Stop. We, we, I, I, I got the footage, right? I can make a whole separate video of these of these young folks screaming about all of these uh, CRT uh, 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 policies and things that, you know, CRT would actually teach uh, on, on these college campuses. Where does that come from? They were taught that and they all didn't come from the same schools, buddy. They all came from all over the place. So this narrative, oh, it's just in this one little spot. Nope. BS. It's a lie. It's that the division anywhere can become division everywhere so uh as a pastor it's a little leaven leaven's a whole lump so it's the little things that we ignore that keep a mountain and surmounting itself now it becomes an obstruction it becomes an obstacle and we allow these things these little things to continue now we're dealing with the goliath so now we have to take down the giants the giants of technology the, the, the giants of what we call the uniparty. And so here we are. Now we have to really mean it that if we're going to uh, be uh, solid and form solidarities, now has to happen. So that that's what MAGA is really all about now. But do you see MAGA as uniting? I mean, certainly it unites people behind it and its idea and this candidate. A lot of people say it's a cult. It's a cult of personality, you know? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. I've heard that before, but always. I, mean, I have people here, Pastor, who are saying to me that they would take a bullet for Donald Trump. He's not the president. He's not, you know, that, that's that's unusual. You don't hear that a lot. This is what has happened. No, it's actually Democrats that are a cult. Democrats follow Joe Biden and Democrats for zero reason. If you ask these folks why they support Joe Biden, 95% of the time they're going to mention something about Donald Trump. It's 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 never oh well Joe Biden is you know blah 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 and then 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 you ask a Trump supporter why they support Donald Trump you won't hear anything about Joe Biden you'll hear about all of the great policies that Republicans and Donald Trump are for uh, and have uh, pushed forth and spoken out uh, policies that they have spoken out against as well right you'll get some legit reasons. But you never will get that from the other side. Isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? Vote blue no matter who? What? Huh? 
no matter who. So as if, if it's a if it's a chicken running as a Democrat, you voting for that? That sounds like a cult to me. You just blindly following. You, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You're just following. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All of the atrocities, the calamities, the, 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 the whole debacle at the at the border, everything now is causing people to awaken to what America is really all about. So this awakening now is taking on personal interests. So every community now is saying, I got something to lose in this if we don't stand together. And so that's what we're seeing. When, when a person says that, that's a personal interest. He's saying, yeah, and, you know, everybody's not willing to die for anybody. But there are some who will say it's, it's that cause right now. That's what Patrick Henry said. Give me liberty or give me death. And now that we're hearing it again, it sounds to some foreign, but this is in the roots of this country. This is what America's all about. These, these men came from farmers and, and business people, and most of them were just, just wanting things to be better who fought for this nation back in 1776. You're talking about awakening. Part of awakening is woke, right? People talking about woke. What does that mean to you? What does the word woke mean? Well, woke, woke is a, a false idea of awakening. It, it does everything opposite of awakening, which is a revival, which comes from a spiritual stirring of one's consciousness. And so if you have a lot of dirt, you know, in your mind, a lot of diluted or polluted things, what a revival does is shake the trees again so that now you can begin to see clearly. But what woke does, woke gives a, a, a false assimilation of action. Okay, I'm woke. Well, and it, it doesn't give action. Define it. What, what is woke? It, it, it tells you what cannot work, what will not work in a people of community. Right, but tell me what it is, though. If I say I'm a man, and then I say all of a sudden I identify as a woman, that's woke. That's, it, 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 it gives demonstration of the total opposite of freedom, liberty, consciousness, all of those things. Woke actually shuts down, so it pretends... Its eyes are open, but, but their eyes are really asleep. And so when a person says that illegal immigration is cool, that's woke. Why is that woke? It's woke because we know a nation cannot survive off of bringing la di da I'm being crazy now, but la di da and everybody into the country. A nation cannot remain sovereign if it keeps its borders open. And why do we expect America to do it when all these other nations, other places, close and shut their borders. Isn't feeding your tired, your poor, your hungry, isn't that both a part of someone yeah. of the cloth as well as part of the, the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, but it's in the context of righteousness. Um, a, a nation that is not lifted up, if, 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 if it is exalted, it says righteousness exalts a nation. What does that mean? It means doing things right or the right way, or God's way of doing things. But sin is a reproach to any people. So if I say, give me your poor, give me your foreign, you know, it was under the understanding of when you come in, you have to become us. Okay, but who defines sin, right? I mean, some people, for some people, it's a sin to say, to build a wall and say you can't come over it. To That's some people, it's a sin to let that person in without checking their papers and giving them due process. I mean, who's to define it? Well, I went to that class. Um, God defines what sin is. And, and so as a Christian nation, a Christian Judeo nation, we cannot lose yes, our sir. roots in that in understanding that the word of God is the infallible word of doctrine and truth. Well, what if you're a Muslim mm -hmm. in this country? What if you're an atheist? What if you're a Jew? What if you are Sikh or Hindu? You know, one's precepts of religion are different than yours, different than mine, different than hers. Well, this is what I love about this nation. Our founding fathers put together what is called the U.S. Constitution, the First Amendment, uh, the, the freedom of what? Religion. Um, it, it did that without, what, wanting people to assimilate into a religion that controlled the people. And this nation was always designed to evangelize, even those that don't agree with us. And, and so disagreement does not mean disunity. It just means an opportunity for us to come together. That's why it's called a more perfect union. Our founding fathers knew, like Benjamin Franklin came out of the halls of, uh, of Philly, Constitutional Hall, and the, the young lady asked him, what, what do we got here? Yeah. He says, daughter, a republic, if we can keep it. And so the Constitution was not written for 
uh, immoral, unjust people. The Constitution was written for moral, spiritual people who could discern the times and the seasons through the Word of God. So mm. the Constitution. Mm. And God we trust. And Before God we our trust. very important. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Uh, Unc said, I got something to say, brother. I got something to say. Another video, Unc. Another video, okay? <laughs> I got you, though. I got you. Uh, <clears throat> man, um, couldn't have said those words any better myself, right? Um, and, psh, man, <laughs> was he wrong? Like, I, 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 I'm I, trying to, like, figure out, like, what, what do I touch on? What do I, what, like, what, but... I, I literally couldn't have said it any better. Couldn't have said it any better. He was spot on with everything. I mean, y'all y'all let me know in the comment section. Do you disagree anywhere? Do you disagree? Talk to me. Talk to me, please. Talk to me, please. Um, and you know, I, I I will I will say this and I'll let you guys get out of here. Um we as black people do need to um come back. And I believe we are coming back. Um, I, I believe that the Republican Party that we are looking at today uh, or the Republican Party that is that we're going towards is going to be a Republican Party where there will be a significant number of black people that will support that party. Not the rhino party of the past. Right. And like I said before, time and time again, those folks are already being pushed out. And, and the rest of them will be pushed out as well, okay? Um, and I, I, I said this like a year ago. I was like, bro, the, the, the new Republican Party will look completely different from the politicians, right? They will sound a whole lot different. You'll have more Republican politicians like the Matt Gates and the Byron Donalds of the world, okay? Uh, big shout out to, to Matt Gates and Byron Donalds, you know, Um You'll have more Republicans like that that will be elected into those positions. And the rhinos like the um, Mitch McConnell's, right? The uh, the Dan, um, what's his name? Crap, I'm drawing a blank. Um, even, even like the Liz Cheney's of the world. We saw what happened to her. <laughs> she thought she was going to win. Landslide landslide um but you you you'll start to see that more and more but then as well as on the voter side it will look completely different democrats have had a stronghold on people of color for far too long now and we're all we've already saw, seen it with uh the hispanic community they're at almost 50 percent i believe uh in the last thing that i saw 50 voting republican 50 democrat uh or or at least Close to 50 Republican, and I, I, I would assume the rest is Democrat. Some of them probably just sitting out, right? So Democrats might not even be that high with um, uh, Hispanics. But <clears throat> but then even on the black side, uh, 30%, 30% in the last poll. And remember, guys, I thought 30% was going to be the high mark. We're already hitting 30%. So we could probably push that to 35 now, I'm hesitant to say any far any any further beyond that, right? Because I felt like 30 was already pushing it, uh, at least this first go round. Now that will climb over time. I just didn't expect it to go this high, this fast. 30 percent, 30 percent of Black people voting Republican and supporting Trump this go around, according to uh, one of the polls that I saw. Not too, I think I saw that like last week. So it was a very very recent poll. Okay. Um, and like I said, 30% I, I thought was the high mark that, that I thought 30 was where, you know, come November, that that was where the, the bar was going to be 30%. But now I'm like, geez, we could probably push 35, 36, you know, which in the grand scheme of things, 35 isn't that big. But considering where we came from, that's a, a very significant jump. And I do feel that that's just going to continue to go higher as time goes on but as always y'all let me know your thoughts your opinions on this in the comment section below like share comment hit that subscribe button before you go peace and love i'm out